Our main match is Chelsea against Carlisle United from the second division. A fine advertisement for open and attacking football and goes some way towards answering the question, just what is the future for that young Chelsea side? And we have the views of their 18-year-old skipper, Ray Wilkins, who is our studio guest today. But first, it's away to Stamford Bridge. Rather a mournful place last season as they slipped out of the first division and into the second. And the numbers of empty seats in that magnificent stand at uh, Stamford Bridge bear witness to the fact that the locals are still waiting to see how things are going to work out now. Chelsea now meeting Carlisle, like themselves relegated last season. Chelsea with Kenny Swain at number 10 for the injured Bill Garner. And Ron Harris is now the substitute. Parker. Well, that's another time the ball's been given away. Train making the most of that. O'Neill coming in well. Clark hopeful of getting a chance now. And Owen with a shot across the face of that Chelsea goal. First good-looking break there by Carlisle. Went all across that Chelsea penalty area. And Bobby Owen there with a shot that went across the face of the goal. Swain. Into the path of Britain. Chelsea working up ahead of steam now, and Wilkins with a good shot, and it has to be pushed over by Burley. Played nicely into his path, hit it well, and Burley tipped it over. Great train. And he's onside. Laidlaw played onside by Sparrow, in fact, on the far side of the field. Laidlaw, oh, and that was stopped by his feet, and it's not away yet. Oh, and he grabbed it at the second time, Sherwood. Good decision there by linesman and referee because Late Law was just onside. And some good reaction there by Steve Sherwood that did very well indeed for Chelsea. Here's Sparrow again. Now, can he get through Owen? Yes, he can. Hey, Banks, get out! Stamford Bridge to life at last. Crossed in beautifully there from the left. And a superb glancing header by Teddy Maybank. Beyond the reach of Burley, into the back of the net. O'Neill. Laidlaw. Gorman. Martin coming up quickly from the midfield there. That's a dangerous looking cross. Well covered by Sparrow for Chelsea. Wilkins. Swain took that nicely on his body. And what a good pass there for Cook. And played on for Mayberg. Onside and has he got the pace? He's got Cook supporting him. Played for Charlie Cook. Well, that was an occasion when the youngsters did everything right. And the more experienced fellow couldn't quite capitalise on it. Lovely piece of running there for Chelsea. And some good thinking by Maybank, laying that into Cook's path. And Charlie not catching it properly at all. There's Cook again. Maybank onside. Linesman kept his flag down. Now can Maybank make this number two? No, he can't. No, he can't. Something of an opening there, Teddy Maybank. First one charged down by the goalkeeper. Second one charged down by a Carlisle defender. Laidlaw. Sparrow. Swain right in there. Will Maybank get to this one? Yes! Oh, and he hit the outside of the post. Well, Swain did well there. Got it across the face of that Carlisle goal, a terrible mistake by Green, not getting to it and being unaware that Maybank was behind him. Maybank hit it first time, but against the outside of the Carlisle post and away. Ray Wilkins. Spotting that Droy was up there and it'll come through for Droy off Bobby Owen. Dink back again to Maybank! what Teddy Maybank thinks of that second goal. With the free kick from uh, Wilkins, clearing Bobby Owen and finding Mickey Droy, and a beautiful cross by Droy, and a fine angled header by that young teenage striker, Teddy Maybank. Makes it 2-0 for Chelsea. Graham Wilkins, with Basson outside him. 
played for Charlie Cook. Back for Graham Wilkins. Basson hovering that badly at the moment now. They've got Maybank already off the field injured a moment ago. And Brian Basson hobbling very badly in possession now. Obviously in some discomfort. Oh! Oh, but what a goal! Well, that's all of 28 yards. A really spectacular goal from Basson. Well, a moment ago, he was hobbling so badly, it looked as though he might have to go off. And then he unleashed that thunderbolt. Whack! against the underside of the Parlour crossbar. Now Trey. Parlour by now, I would have thought, pretty demoralised. They offered a fair bit, particularly in the opening 20 minutes, when they came forward with a lot of aggression and purpose. Oh, and there's a great goal! Oh, my goodness, what a goal by Barry! Well, there we've had two thunderous goals in the space of two minutes. And if anything, the second one beat the first. Mick Barry catching that one on the volley, left-footed, and Sherwood stretched for all he could, but he couldn't reach it. And a good catch by Burley. And a chance now for Carlisle if they can break quickly. They've got to five up, to four back for Chelsea. Now it's with Bobby Owen. Oh, and he wasn't far away. Certainly the goalkeepers are getting plenty of work in this second half. Eddie McCready up at the top left there in the dark glasses who has been under so much pressure since he was made the manager of this club. Ron Stewart there with him and uh, Ken Shillitoe. Now Britain. Graham Wilkins to uh, his brother Ray Wilkins and a lovely floated ball there for Charlie Cook. What a beautiful ball there from Butch Wilkins. Into the path there of Sparrow and it's just wide. But really excellent stuff again from Chelsea. A lovely ball from Butch Wilkins. Floated all the 40 yards to inch perfection and then rolled by Charlie Cook into the path of John Sparrow. Well, a performance that should bring out a few more Chelsea fans, I've no doubt, for their home game against Oxford on Wednesday. But now let's meet Ray Wilkins, at 18, the youngest captain in the Football League. I say, Ray, a lot of people call you Butch. You're going to go a long way in the game. We're going to hear a lot about you. Now, what do we call you, Ray or Butch? I'm not bothered. Uh, I think Ray, uh, yeah, Ray. As I say, at 18, the youngest skipper. What experience of being a skipper have you had, Ray? Well, I've, I've captained the Chelsea reserve side on, I think, four occasions. Uh, the England youth side and Chelsea first team. England youth and Chelsea first. Yeah. Is it an enjoyable experience? Yeah, very enjoyable, yeah. You don't find it in any way a burden on your performance? No, not at all. No, I love it. You love the responsibility? Yeah, great. Yeah. I tell you, I was talking to Teddy Maybank uh, in World of Sport yesterday, and I asked him how he felt about playing uh, with a fella as 18-year-old as his skipper, and this is what he said. I respect him very much, although he's only 18, he's 35 in stature, you know, he's brilliant captain. I mean, and we've known him since he was 14, so we couldn't really respect a player more. Mm. And as you see yourself, he's brilliant. In fact, I think you probably knew Teddy Maybank a bit before you were 14, because you were at Chelsea when you were 10, I think you were saying. Yeah, 10 and a half, yeah. How did that come about? Uh, I was recommended by an apprentice called Tommy James, and uh, he told Frank Blunston, and Frank asked us down. And how many of the other Chelsea lads in the side at the moment were there at that sort of age? Uh, John Sparrow. Brian Basson and Ted. Teddy Maybank. Yeah. Who really are the big influences on your footballing life at the moment? I think my mother and father and most of the Chelsea uh, coaching staff. Tell us about your mum and dad. Your dad, of course, was a professional with Brentford, wasn't he? Yeah. In what way does he influence you? Uh, he has chats with us after we play. You know, he says what we've done right and what we've done wrong. And uh, my mum, she, she has a go at us if we play bad. And, what sort of things does she say to you, though? She just say we play bad and, you know, she quicken yourself up and things like this. And what do you say to her? Do you take any notice of that? Just a bit, yeah, not too much. <laughs> what about your interests away from the game? Uh, I like uh, the occasional game of golf with my brother. And uh, I like watching the telly a bit. But other than that, nothing much. 
Do you go out with the lads at all, the young fellas in the side? Yeah, occasionally, yeah. yeah. Your brother? Uh, very rare occasion, that. Why is that? Because he's caught and he's got a... He's got, got a good go, yeah. And you haven't? No, I haven't, no. Fantastic. Let's just finish on Chelsea. You've got the game coming up against Oxford on Wednesday. The bookmakers made you four to one favourites to go back into the first division at the start of the season. Was that realistic, do you think? I don't know, really. I, uh, I don't think so. You know, I don't think you can tell whether a side's uh, going to go up to the first division. But uh, we're all feeling very confident now. And I'm sure if we can play as we did yesterday, then... You know, we've got a very good chance. And you've got players to come back, like David Hay and yeah, Bill right. Garner, Gary Locke, for example. David will be back pretty soon, and we're looking forward to it. Happier days at the bridge. Right, yeah. Ray Wilkins, thank you very much for coming in today. Thanks very much. Thank you, Ray.